If you're working on your WordPress website for a long time, then it is a good idea to put up a maintenance mood page. A maintenance mood page is a temporary placeholder for times when a site or app needs to be taken offline for updates, backups, or maintenance. It tells the visitor that the site they're trying to reach is temporarily unavailable because the team behind the scenes is doing some work. In this video, we are going to look at three methods through which you can put your WordPress website in maintenance mode. Let's get started. So this is a website that we have. We used a uh, Bloxy theme for this uh, website. So I want to put this site on maintenance mode, how I can do that. So first, let's go to the dashboard of this website. We are going to use a plugin to put our site on maintenance mode. So hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new. And from here, search for a plugin called Light Start. Okay, here's the plugin. Previously, this plugin was called WP Maintenance Mood. So if you search for WP Maintenance Mood here, this plugin should come up. So this plugin is by Themeisle. We are going to uh, take a look at these stats over here. It has over 900,000 active installations and it has a good ratings and it's still compatible with our version of WordPress. Okay, so we are going to install it. We're going to click on this button and wait for this plugin to install. Okay, our plugin has been installed. Now we're going to click on the activate button. Okay, right after you activate the plugin, it's going to bring you to this page. So your light start is located over here from settings and down below here, light start. You can see it's here. Okay, so from here, you can um, see there's the coming soon page, there's the maintenance mood, and there's the landing page. So of course, we want the maintenance mood. We're going to select it. And this section basically gives you custom templates. All right. So if you don't want to use a template, you can click on this, but there's no harm in using the custom templates. I'm going to click on continue. It's also going to add another plugin called Otter and using Otter, you can um, customize or design your maintenance mood page. It's like Gutenberg page builder. Now you can put in your email address over here and sign up so that you can keep up with the features announcement, promotions, tutorials, and new template releases. So I'll skip this for now. And now it's telling us that your maintenance page is ready. So I'm to click on the view page to look at my maintenance page. Okay, so this is my maintenance page. You can see it's a really long page and Light Start actually uses the Gutenberg page builder to uh, build this page. So if we click on this plus button and if we scroll down, you can see the Otter Builder is here. Using the Otter Builder, you can uh, build your page. You can add header, countdown if you want. For example, you, you can uh, drag it and drop it over here and you can uh, specify how long your website maintenance is going to take place and you can simply edit it. You can click on this and then click on the settings and you can um, edit it from here. You can also uh, tweak its style from here, but we're not going to do that. We're going to create a simple um, website under maintenance page. So we're going to select this and remove it. All right, so you can go ahead and customize this, um, these texts, or if you want to add any um, social media links, simply click on these icons and add in your social links. Okay, so if you have an e-commerce website, you can use this form to take in your customer's orders. Okay, so after you're done, simply click on update. And now let's go back. Okay, so here you can see uh, we're back to our dashboard and we can see a message over here. The maintenance mood is active. Please don't forget to deactivate it as soon as you're done. So you can deactivate it from here or you can go to the settings and light start to deactivate it. So it brings us to the settings, the general settings. If we click on deactivate, our page will be deactivated. Now, before looking at our maintenance page, um, since we're here, let's look at the light start settings. So from the general settings, you have already seen the status. Next, you can uh, also allow search bots to uh, index your page while you're under maintenance mode. But I think it's a good idea not to allow the search bot to index your site while it's being maintained because your site might be broken and it might send the wrong message. So it's better to select no. And then from here, you can see the back end role. So if you have multiple users, 
uh, you can select which role of users can log into the back end so the editor or the authors and the admins will always have access so you won't see the admins option here here in the front end role you will find which users can log into the front end of the, your website you can select author contributor of course admins will always have access to the front end as well next we have the robots meta tag now this dictates how your pages should be indexed and served to the search results so we have two options here index follow and no index no follow so we're going to keep the default settings and move on next we have the redirection option here you can add a redirection url for the users who have no access to the backend panel next we have the exclude option here we can exclude feed pages archives and ips that we want to exclude from the maintenance mode you have to include each one on a separate line and below this we have the option to display a notice when our maintenance mode is activated so i'm going to keep it yes now after that just click on save settings and then let's go to the design tab from here you can see there are several designs for your maintenance page currently we're using this you can import any of these templates just clicking over here and you can also select your maintenance mode from here so if you click over here it shows us all the available pages that we have okay so from the modules if we go here you can see we have zero subscribers we can uh, put a subscription a mechanism in our maintenance page from there people can subscribe you can also use your google analytics you can enable ip anonymization this is basically an ip masking technique and you can also put in your google analytics tracking code over here and in the manage bot this is very interesting if you click on activate it will activate the chat bot so on your maintenance page there will be a chat bot and when visitors come to your uh, maintenance page they will be able to chat with the chat bot so you can give your bot a name you can upload an image over here then you can see there are several messages over here so hey my um, name is so the bot name will be um, retrieved from here and there's the message two, message three. you can also uh, type in the response and you can basically customize this uh, chatbot over here okay so now we're going to take a look at how our maintenance mood page looks but first let's go back to the dashboard and log out of our account we are logging out because as an admin we can't see the maintenance page if we visit our website's URL but as a general visitor if we visit our website we'll see the maintenance page that's why we need to log out as you can see our maintenance page is working perfectly the website is under maintenance and here are the text and here's the form as well so that is how you can use a light start plugin to set up your maintenance mode page okay now we are going to use another plugin to set up the maintenance mode page you can use either of these plugins we're just showing you the two most popular ones okay so go to your wordpress dashboard from here we are going to install a plugin so go to plugins and click on add new and we're going to search for a plugin called seed prod so here is the plugin as you can see it has over 1 million active installations it has a good ratings and it is compatible with our current version of wordpress so i'm going to click on install now okay so the plugin has been installed now i'm going to click on activate okay our plugin has been activated and as soon as it's activated it will bring you to this uh, installation wizard you can click on this get started button and it will uh, take you through a setup process so you can go through this process but i'm going to skip it for now okay i'm going to click on close and exit wizard okay it brings us to the seed prod landing pages over here so to activate our maintenance mood you can also activate a coming soon mood but we're looking at the maintenance mood right now so you can click on this uh, toggler button to activate your maintenance mood but first we are going to click on set up a maintenance mood page button as you can see that it has so many uh, maintenance mood templates for the free version we can only use these three the blank template the simple maintenance mood and the down maintenance mood all right so the blank mode has nothing so you have to build your maintenance mode from scratch now these pages are already set up you can use any of these 
So if you subscribe using your email address, you will get 10 of these templates for free. And for the rest, you have to purchase the pro version. Okay, so I'm going to use a simple one for now. So I'm going to click on this, uh, this button. Okay, and now it brings me to the uh, page builder. If you have worked with uh, page builders like Elementor and Gutenberg, then this setup should be familiar to you. You can simply drag and drop elements from here and then you can edit the elements. So I'm going to delete it right now because it's already okay. From here, you can uh, edit your text. You can write whatever you want. So I'm going to write Okay, so I've written website under maintenance and the text over here, it says this site is currently undergoing scheduled maintenance. Please check back soon. Okay, so you can um, edit all of these. You can click here and upload one of your own images if you want. Uh, you can add all text, image sizes, and there are various customization options. You can also drag and drop these elements from here to here and customize your page the way you want. So once you're done, you're going to click on save. And now let's uh, close this builder. And it tells me maintenance mood is not active. Would you like to activate it now and show this page to visitors? I'm to click yes, activate. Okay, so you can see that our maintenance mood is now activated. You can also see there's a icon over here that's showing maintenance mood active. So Seedprod is showing you that the maintenance mood is on. So now if we log out of our um, WordPress and now let's visit our site's URL. As you can see, it's showing us the maintenance page that we just created. And that is how you can uh, put your WordPress website on maintenance mood using the Seedprod plugin. Now, if your visitors visits your website, they're going to see this maintenance mood page. But if you are logged into your WordPress dashboard and then you visit your website, you're not going to see this maintenance mood page. Instead, you're going to see the normal home page. So let me show you how. So we are here in our WP admin. I'm going to log in. Okay, so I have logged back into my uh, WordPress dashboard. Now, if I hover my mouse over here and click on visit site, I am going to see my normal site. So that is how the maintenance mood works. While your normal traffic will see the maintenance mood page, as an admin, you won't see it. You can work on your backend as much as you want. Okay, so let's go back to our dashboard. To deactivate your maintenance mood, you can simply uh, log back into your WordPress dashboard and then go to seed prod and simply click on this button to deactivate your maintenance mood. All right, so your maintenance mood is now disabled. Okay, so another way through which you can put your WordPress website in maintenance mood is by customizing the functions.php file. Do keep in mind that editing functions.php file directly is very risky. An error in the code can take the entire site down. So it is better to use plugins instead. Okay? So to do this, um, first make sure that you have backed up your WordPress website. So we also have a video tutorial on how to back up your WordPress website. We will uh, link it in the description below. You can check that out. After you back up your WordPress website, um, hover your mouse over appearance, go into theme file editor. So if you're using another theme, this option might be different, all right? Just make sure that you're accessing your themes file editor. So I'm using this method to customize my functions.php file, but you can also use an FTP client like FileZilla or the cPanel file manager to customize your uh, functions.php file. Okay, so the first time you come here, you're going to receive this heads up message. So make sure to back up your site, okay? I'm going to click on I understand and we're going to select the functions.php. So we're using the Bloxy child theme and it gives us easy way to access our website files, okay? So once you click on functions.php, go to a new line over here and then paste in this code. We will provide a link to this code in the description below. You can see the text here says WP underscore die and here is the H1 tag. You can simply edit your message over here it says website under maintenance we are performing scheduled maintenance we will be back online shortly okay so um, after you're done just click on the update file you can uh, write your own custom messages over here as well 
okay so once it's done let's uh, go back to our dashboard home page and now let's log out and now let's try to visit our website's URL. As you can see, it says the website is under maintenance. We are performing schedule maintenance. We will be back shortly. Okay, so that is the default WordPress maintenance page. Okay, it's not styled, but it's very simple to use. Okay, so you can use this code to do it. To deactivate the maintenance mode, log back into your WordPress dashboard and hover your mouse over uh, appearance and then click on theme file editor. Again, if you're using a different theme, this option might be different okay then select the functions.php file and simply remove uh, this code and click on update file okay so your maintenance mode has been deactivated now if we visit our site let's log out first okay we can visit our site now so that is how you can put your wordpress website in maintenance mode using the uh, custom function so let us know what you think about this video in the comment down below if this video was helpful give it a like share and subscribe because that encourages us to make more helpful videos on wordpress like this one so till the next video take care